Hi, I'm Hal DeKaiser and this is Josh Holmes and we're here for another segment of On Vegas Housing. And today we're going to kind of talk about some of the things that a, if you're looking to sell your house, some of the basic improvements you should make on that house that will remove the kind of things that will make people say, oh, that's going to be an expense and a headache and I don't want to have to deal with it. Um, Josh is in, in a, has experience in this because he was a construction superintendent for 15 years, so he knows how difficult some of these things are, and some things may not be as bad as you might uh, imagine. So for me, Josh, what I hear buyers saying more than anything else, they walk in a house, if the flooring, if the carpet, if the tile is ratty or cheap, or if there's blotchy or wild colored paint on it, they'll turn right around and walk off. So yeah. it's flooring and painting for you, considered to be two of those things to remove those kinds of expenses and headaches? Absolutely. Um, and so, you know, if, if you're looking for the, the uh, repairs or upgrades you can do that are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck, I always uh, suggest that the, the first one is paint, like you mentioned. Um, it's probably one of the cheapest uh, upgrades you can do, and it just kind of freshens the whole place up. Mm -hmm. um, while you're doing the paint, I would suggest doing light switches, uh, change them to the new rocker style. That's kind of, buyers are used to seeing that when they go into the model homes. Um, new new cover plates and outlets as well. So that not in addition to upgrading it to a more modern plate, if you put new paint on the wall, then you can, everything's white and new. You don't have those old yellowed um, exactly. switch plates. Exactly. Um, and then from there, my next suggestion would be, you know, if somebody still has more money to, to put into this thing, would be flooring. And think hard hard surfaces, not carpet. That's people are trying to get away from carpet. Not so much bedrooms, but common areas. Think the hard spaces. Right. Think hard surface, um, whether it's tile, laminate or hardwood, things things of that nature, and not so much the dark, the super dark tones. Uh, think medium. That's that's gonna that's what people are seeing in the new model homes these days. It's not old dark tones and carpet and things like that. It's more modern. Um, from there, I would suggest window coverings. Just kind of going through the whole place and making them match and, and freshen those up. Um, they're faux wood blinds. They're you know they're not too terribly expensive in the grand scheme of things, and you're going to get your money back. Uh, while you're doing the flooring and the painting, what about the uh, baseboards? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely change the baseboards and make sure you install them correctly. What does that mean? <laughs> that means do your floor first, then you put the baseboards down. So you pull the baseboards off, paint, do the flooring. Correct, and then new baseboards back. And then on. new baseboards. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, people try to cut corners and they'll <clears throat> they'll uh, try to tuck the flooring underneath the existing baseboards or. You know, they'll, they'll go through and do it backwards and they'll put the baseboards down first and you know, now your flooring butts up against them and, and takes away from some of that height, which um, is appealing. So of all these things, flooring, it sounds like it's the most expensive. Flooring is going to, yes, it can be. Depending on what you're putting in, um, it, it can get very expensive. So if you're just thinking about selling and you want to get the best bang for your buck, don't think the high dollar, super expensive stuff. Not only that, um, but it might not be somebody's taste. It might mm -hmm. just be yours. So think neutral, think hard surfaces, things of that nature. And from there, I would definitely, um, anytime you're selling, I would go through and get rid of any gold trim that's in the house, whether it be hinges, door hinges. So from the 80s. Right, the 80s gold trim. Um, old faucets, or you know, go through the your bathrooms. Trim. Yeah, the shower trim, bathroom trim. The doorknobs. Just because it looks old, not because there's anything wrong with it, right? Correct. Even if it's functional, you still want to replace that with something more modern. Mm -hmm. um, but don't don't break the bank. You know, yeah. just something maybe brushed nickel, something other than gold. And here's what we hear from sellers sometimes: they 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 see that in Las Vegas the housing uh, prices are going up, and they and their neighbor across the street got X for it. They want X, but they don't want to spend the money to do it. But what happens when you do that is that your house, that as I explained in the intro, is that people walk in, look at the ratty carpet or bad paint, and walk out. So you'll your house will be on a market for a long time. You won't get the money that you would pay 
to do the painting and flooring out of it and mm -hmm. and you're going to be paying the mortgage when you're not in the house exactly so so that would be my uh those would be my top things uh from there you, you can get all kinds of creative and spend lots of money but the, those those items would be essential mm -hmm. okay the only other thing i might add on that is if you have a an older house 20 30 years old and you're trying to update it a little bit that you take if you got a, a big old clunky wooden fan, ceiling fan someplace, you add maybe a stainless steel one that looks a little more modern in your sure. prominent visual spaces. Sure. Um, if you're going to do that, I would I'd make them all match. Yeah. Just think, always think match, you know, not mismatch. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, you could get crazy. You could do appliances, uh, granite, and all that kind of stuff. But you're not yeah. going to get the return on investment from those types of things, right? Correct. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, so uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, check us out on onvegashousing.com. There's other videos like this. And be sure to subscribe and what else? Like, share, and comment. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>